Okay, so we have two people here. They're um, being fairly tricky and uh, intelligent as they try and figure out. They can't get across a river, and so they want to figure out uh, what the width of that river is in a tricky method here. So let's follow through with a, with a train of thought and see how it could be done. So first of all, uh, we can draw out a river bank and say Mark's standing there looking at the river. Um, he's looking toward the east, so that means our river looks something like that. Um, he's looking at a tree across here. Um, now, here's something, uh, the bearing written like this, maybe something that you ran in before ran into before maybe not maybe it's new but let's just make sure we're clear here so um what this means is the first letter here is saying that south is our reference and so you could picture it as he's looking at a bearing of south 64 east he's looking south and then he's turning himself through 64 degrees towards the east and so he would end up with an angle like this. So south and then to the east, 64 degrees. All right. So um, just picture that the first letter in there is the reference point, And then the angle, where you're how much you're turning. And then which direction you're turning. Are you turning towards, if you're facing south, you could turn towards the east or you could turn toward the west. In this case, they're making it clear that he turned 64 degrees towards the east. And so uh, we can practice this once more because we're told that Susan, um, she is going north 46 degrees east. So in her case, you could picture her looking north along the riverbank, and then she's going to turn 46 degrees, but which way? Not to the left or to the west. She's going to turn to her right and turn around 46 degrees to the east. So that means 46 degrees in there. All right, so we've got a bit of a diagram here. Um, now, what we're looking for is the distance across uh, this creek or river. And so we could mark it in here, the width. And we can look at it there. Um, so in a way, it kind of looks like a, a simple trig ratio problem. Um, we, if we looked at the 64 degrees, we have the opposite is the, the W. Unfortunately, we don't have the hypotenuse. We don't have the adjacent and the same thing for the 46. So yeah, it kind of looks like a, a regular trig ratio problem, but there's a little more to it. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to figure out, um, you know, one of these distances. So why don't we call this X and see if we can figure that out. Um, maybe we can use our sine law to figure that one out. So Let's take a look. Well, we, we do know that um, the distance between uh, Mark and Susan is 200 or 400 meters. So that's all the way from there to there. And so that tells us something about the big triangle. And um, so let's see if we can put together sine ratio. So we know the side 400. Do we know the angle across from that? Well, at this point we don't, but it looks like we could figure this out. Let's call that alpha. And um, if this is 64 up here, then that means that this must be 64 degrees in there. And if this is 46 there, then that means this must be 46 in there. And so we know that all around this is going to be 180 degrees. So that tells us that our theta is 180 minus 64 minus 46 and let's see 60 and 40 is 100 and 6 and 4 10 so 110 so that must mean that our theta is 70 degrees okay so um now we have an angle and we have the side across from that angle excellent and then if we look back at our x um, we can say that we have the angle across from that is 64. So from a sine law point of view, we have everything we need in order to solve for x. 
So let's lay this out. So we're looking for the x, so let's put that on top. And opposite of that, we have sine 64. And then we pair that up with the um, 400 is our side. And the angle across from that we determined was 70. So sine 70. And so just rearranging that, multiplying both sides by sine 64. And we can calculate that out, throw it in the old calculator. And we come up with 382.6. And that was in meters. Okay. So what we've done is we've gotten our x and uh, using our sine law, and now we can go back to our regular trig ratios because we have a little more information this time. So if we were to solve for our x, we could say that sine of 46 is equal to our width, our w, opposite, over our hypotenuse, which is our x, which we figured out in our previous step, 382.6 meters. And so we can multiply both sides by 382.6. And again, pull out that calculator. And 382.6 times sine of 46, 200 and 75 and that was in meters so um, they used their strategy and uh, quite a good one it turned out to be because they were able to figure out the width of that river 275 meters